リンクスタート If you've watched enough anime or spent all your premium gems trying to push out, you've probably have heard of this voice before. Unless he's screaming his lungs out or preparing his battle cry. This voice actor or seiyu is usually found voicing your protagonist in a typical harm school anime. And if he's not surrounded by girls at school, He's probably doing so in another world. His voice is so powerful that not only does he attract 2D girls, but 3D girls as well. Matioka Yoshizugu, the man who has thrown the harm king of Seiyus, and undoubtedly known best for voicing the edgy backswordsman that became the first of its kind. <laughs> Before becoming the harm king of Seiyus, Matsuyaka's original ambition was to become a car mechanic. Up until he watched Neon Genesis Evangelion during middle school, where he discovered the calmness of Karu Nagisa's voice on the last episode and was surprised of the voice acting skills and vocal range of Ishida Akira, the seiyuu of Nagisa. <laughs> who also voiced Red from Tales of Eternia, the protagonist from a game he used to play. It is there where Matsuyaka's interest in voice acting began. <laughs> ま、Matsuyaka's determination into the voice acting career though did not truly begin until he graduated from high school, where he decided to move to Tokyo to find voice acting schools. He went to the Yoyagi Animation Academy and eventually graduated and joined the Nihon Narration Agi Kyojuro Training Center, or other known as Nishinare, an establishment that has cooperated with producing anime such as Ide Sakamoto, Honda-kun, and many more. After Matsuyoka graduated from there, he was admitted by I'm Enterprise and debuted in 2009 as AKX 20,000F in Eden of the East. Ironically, there have been a few anime where Matsuyoka has voiced rival characters with his idol Akira. From Kirito and Gabriel in Alicization, Patelagus and Regulus in Rizal, and Aishi and Yukihira from Food Wars. They both were also part of the Demon Slayer movie cast where Ishida voiced Akaza and Matsuyoka voiced Inosuke. Just like his idol, Matsuyoka also has an amazing vocal range and puts all his emotions into his acting, where he can go from a calm and collected character to a more chaotic and insane villain. And can probably even pass voicing a female role. <laughs> Outside of voice acting, Matsuyaka enjoys cooking, playing music, and enjoys outdoors. During an interview in the 2015 Sakura Khan, he stated that he's tried some cooking recipes from Full Wars, and most of them were doable. He also enjoys playing games and watching anime, like many of us. The king himself even was able to pull his own character in Genshin Impact. 
ジンクスがあったんですよなんか僕自分がやった作品自分のキャラ出ないっていうなぜかそういうものがあるんですよでもショーは出しました天井まではいかなかったですけど半分ぐらいはいきましたかね、ええ、50連ぐらいはしたかもしれないですけど、ええ、松岡 is a counterpart of his own characters even he has to remind himself that he's not playing Kirito And is often shown to be dense and isolated from others during some of his broadcasts. But despite being anxious on stage, he takes his work seriously and works towards being more open while frequently being pulled out of his comfort zone by his co workers. Matsuyaka is usually called Tsugu Tsugu around those close to him. <laughs> and the joke that he's the Harm King has even become familiar with his own colleagues. Through the many videos I've watched, the two seiyus he seemed the most comfortable with were the voice actors of Alice and Yujiu from Aliceization, Kaiyo no Ai and Shimazaki Nobunaga. He ranked Kaiyo no as a 6 out of 5 on the friend scale and Shimazaki as a 7 out of 5. And many fans joke that it's a race between the two to get a 10 out of 5. Though funny enough, his favorite character in SAO. Is actually Liz. So, I'm going to say, SAO Alistation Over Underworld, Nemat Abema Special! Just to suffer. <laughs> Other than anime, Matsuyaka has dubbed for multiple game characters and even live action movies. His most notable, Zhao from Genshin Impact, Amon and Herms from FF14's new expansion, In Walker. Philip from Ready Player One, and many more. And as of June 17, 2019, he is the Guinness World Record holder for the most unique sound bites, exceeding 10,000 words in a Damachi game. And with that being said, I went through every anime character that Matsuyaka has voiced, and I am going to go through them as quickly as possible. Though I would say I couldn't find some of them because they weren't relevant enough in the anime to have screen time. And also, there were no clear shots of his debut character, AKX 20,000, in Eden of the East. So,、uh, yeah, let's begin. The Harm King has voiced Kirito from Sword Art Online, Tomiya Aki from Sekano, Bill Crano from Danmanchi, Array d o n a n C from Rene n o a Lagrange. He was this guy from that one anime scene. Oh, my God. y o u k u h i r a Soma from Food Wars, Arata Kasagi from Trinity 7, Sorata Kanda from Sakura Sono Pet No Kanajo, Our Boy Nosuke from Demon Slayer, Mikimaru from Jujutsu Kaisen, Ryo from Spare Chronicles. Yuki Aito from Mangaka san to Assistant san, Toru Kokone from Absolute Duo, Yuki Anzai from Devil's Line, Tsuruki Hanazawa from Mob Psycho, Wang from Darwin's Game, That One Guy from Goblin Slayer, A Dungeon Ant from The Dungeon of Black Company, Kanata Age from Sky Wizard Academy, Philly from Cannon Busters, The Kirito Naka from The Rising of the Shield Hero, Yosetsu Awaza from My Hero Academia, Arata from Arata the Legend, Yukiya Narase from Code Geass, Makoto Shiranui from Hatena Illusion, Goro Kusanagi from Campion, this one villain from Fire Force. It seems he did voice a female character. Sora from No g a i No Life, and the white haired version of him from the movie, l e b a k from Akame Ga Kill. My boy deserved better. Hiro from Cerebus. Tatsumi Hikaru from Mai no Mahou Kare no Hi. Fate Escardos from Fate Apocrypha. Reichi Gaku Mazawa from Fate Kali Nilin Prisma. Your typical arrogant character with the sole purpose of getting wood by the main character. Kure Ryan from Rengen Ashura. Your generic harm protagonist with blue hair. Another generic harm protagonist, but all the girls are his childhood friends. Akashi Naginuma from M3 The Dark Metal. 
Loki from Regular of Ragnarok, Olga Breakchild from Lucky and Logic, Masaki Ichijo from the regular at Magic High School, Jin Kazama, and no, not the character from Tekken, but the guy from the soccer anime, Kanemaru Shinji from Ace of Diamond, Hyofua from Aharu no Sora, Sho Mikaido from All Out, Itsuki Amano from Stars of Line, This Cat That Saved Saiki's Life from Saiki K, Takashi Mitsuya from Tokyo Revengers, Sochira Kame from Kyokoku Shinka Shida Full Dive RPG. Oh wait, wrong image. Takahashi from Wasteful Days of High School Girls. Fujishima Narumi from Heaven's Memo Pad. Shota from the Idol Masters. These two dudes from Princess Shride. Shin Sayama from Aloha in the Sea. He also voiced Miyamura in the Horror Mia OVA that came out in 2012. Makun from High Score Girl. He voiced another cat from The Way of the House Husband. 00303 from Flip Flappers. Gio Inzaghi from Blade Dance of the Elementers. Joza Matsuoka from Girlish Number. Komori from The Detective is Already Dead. Korogi from Dimension W. Shizuru Isiragi from Free. Kikuchi Toma from Ahu Ride. The Basara Twins from Twin Star Exorists. Yusuke Sagari from An ONA aired back in 2015. Taku from Black Rock Shooter. Sota Ishibashi from a Monster Strike movie. Sandaime from Bodacious Space Pirates. The Orchestra Captain in Mechada Box. Bokia from Servant. Aoba Watase from Buddy Complex. The Onichan of Iramanga Sensei. Makoto Miyamoto from Tari Tari. This guy from Love Lab, the main character of Chaos Child, Subaru Amagaya from Sanrio Danshi, Anjo Rado from this I can't believe it's not hentai anime. <laughs> Dr. Rabo from EOD Live. Bimi from Mikagura School Suite, the older brother of Alice and Alice. Toshio Zazen from A Place Further Than the Universe. Zu Pu from Zion Hyun, Sword Luminary. Tatsuya Ochiya from Shirobako. Tokishige Izami from Golden Kamoi, another Kirito in a different anime. He played part of the new cast of the remake of Whistle as Tepe Kawa. Tomura, a side character in Young Blackjack, a bacteria in Souls at Work. These two irrelevant characters in Anohana. This guy that bullied Jonathan and Arena in the first episode of Jojo. A side character in Denki Gai. Aki Hidaka from Tsubasa to Hotoro. This guy that's in the same class as Gako. An irrelevant character in Bento. This bully in Gundam Age. Another cat from Yumikui Mary. Hajime from Yoamushi Pedal. Orochi from one of the Donten Niwaru movies. A student that was in the same class as Maroka. This student from Kyoto Sekyo to Chocolate. Betelgeus from ReZero and Isekai Quartet. Goron from Kyoshin to Kyoka no Shiro. This delinquent from the first episode of A Certain Scientific Rail Gun S. This random guy from the Index movie. Rito's doppelganger from Ultimate Otoku Sensei. This simp in To Love Ru. A supporting character in Isekai Shokudo. A supporting character in Mr. Tonagawa. Hirano Taiga from a new BL anime released this season. Sonten Kun from Haku Hoshin Angi. Titus Alexius from Magi. Hayato Shinomiya from Watashi ga Mote Dosanda. This mage in Grand Cat Senki. Luka Mizuma from, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna call it Tokunana. One of the main characters from Oharu X Kikanju. Astaroth from As Miss Belba's Likes. Joshua from The Prince of Smiles. Oliver from Knights in Magic. Hayami Shunsuke from Chosoku Henki Gawazetter. Natsuki. Hashiba from Nijiro Days, Kira from Shrek the Blood, 
Nail from Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens, Masa, Sho, and Kuroshiro from the Key High Earth Defense Club franchise, Edampier from Kyoketsu Sugashinu, Yakushi from Namu Amara Butu, this guy from Kimidake ni Moti Enda, he voiced Helios in one of the Sailor Moon movies, Riku Seiya from Wandering Sun, Yamato Igarashi from Hataka Tonkatsu Ramens, Kaede Makabe in Orimo, and also this background character, this journalist in Balance Unlimited, another character named Kirito in Hansaku Iroha, the lower quality Tsukasa from Fantista Dolls, Korai Yamamoto from Kohaku Jiko Linkai, Beats from the Monster Hunter stories, Dr. Franklin from Infinity Dentrogram, this rooster and monkey from Working Buddies, a humanoid cat from Rene, Reiki's friend from Skate Infinity, Phoenix from Mysterious Joker, and from the Pokemon Heroes. Matsuyaka also replaced Tatsuhisa Suzuki as the voice actor for Kibana on episode 82 of Pokemon Journeys. Kazunari Uhara from Ro Kyo Bo. He voiced Rugen, Goro, and Kuro from the Battle Spirits franchise. A supporting character from Super Lovers. This guy from Osama Game. Richard from Classical Lord, Akira Ugawa from Starmew, a Demon King from the Sleepy Princess in the Demon Castle, Cutlery from the Thousand Noble Musketeers, Francois Auric from the final season of Shakugan no Shana, Jin Umezaki from an OVA, Hikaru Uraha from Halfway Through the Idol, Tsukashima from Hybrid Child, a mouse from Donyatsu, Situri from Devils and Realists, the main protagonist of Harmony, the movie, this character that no one likes in high school DxD, Doji from Gundam Build Divers, the protagonist of Umibe no Entranger, Sho from Blade and Soul, a baseball player from Tiku, Tatsuya Bungo from Dr. Ramen, Hokkaido Izu from Bakumatsu, Matsuyaka did a little voice acting as a character in a manga that was written by Toru, in Bakuman, Kensuke Oshiba from Hitojime Mahiro, Yu Mikey from Makura no Danshi, he voiced the young Muneyuki in episode 10 of Manyo Hikencho, a fan of Miss Monochrome, he voiced the new Ichimatsu in season 3 of Osamatsu san, Tara in Queen's Blade, Leon Max Muller from another I can't believe it's not hentai anime, Norimichi. Ishikawa from Remain, Itsuki Takeyama from Chibi Devi, Yoshichika Murase from D-Side, Tron Mary, the animation. He voiced both Bezel and Nero from Garo Vanishing Line, Nicole Ascart from My Next Life as a Villainess, Madeline from New Venaga the Fool, the side character from Shometsu, Kazuhiko Osawa from Lucky Star, a supporting character in Wolf Girl and Black Prince. And last but not least, Portaro Usagi from Conte Central Quintuplets. There's probably a few characters that I've missed, and there is a total of 184 characters, I think. And now that I'm done butchering names and titles, I am at my limit to keep talking, so I'm going to reset my English and pronunciation. Whether you like him or hate him, Matsuyaka Yoshitsugu has done a lot for the anime community and has become an iconic voice for an anime protagonist. Without him or any voice actors, I don't think we would have that strong of an emotional attachment with anime characters. And I created this video to bring that appreciation for seiyus, the ones who make our manga and light novel characters feel alive and bring the best out of them in the animated form. It reminds us that the one behind our most hated or favorite character is human too, pouring all their emotions into the dialogue to give us a better understanding of the character. And there's a lot more that I have to say, but I am unable to express it. So with all that in mind, thanks for watching the video and see you next time.